torture is inhuman, yet it is widespread. Torture not only devastates the lives of victims, but also impacts societies. It erodes the rule of law, weakens democratic institutions, and undermines public trust in governments. Torture is illegal, yet extensively used. International law bans torture, even in the most extraordinary circumstances, such as national emergencies. However, states continue to use torture and ill-treat those in detention. Torture is still used as an interrogation technique, although information extracted through torture should not be accepted as legal evidence. Studies also show that torture is an unreliable means to gather accurate information. Following key international human rights instruments, the United Nations Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatment or Punishment was adopted in 1984 to completely outlaw torture. The UNCAT provides states with a legal framework for prohibition, prevention, punishment, redressal and reporting of torture. It also focuses on fair and adequate compensation and rehabilitation of victims. The UNCAT entered into force in June 1987. India signed the UNCAT in 1997 and expressed its intention to ratify it. However, India has not yet ratified it. Several judicial decisions in India have already ruled that torture and ill-treatment violate the right to live with dignity as enshrined in the Indian constitution. Ratifying UNCAT would encourage further reforms in the Indian legal system that would explicitly prohibit torture and recognize it as a criminal offense. That would also help existing domestic laws to be aligned with international legal standards. As of June 2021, 171 states have ratified UNCAT. Today, only 24 UN member states, including India, are not yet parties to the convention. Ratifying UNCAT would reinforce India's commitment to human rights and international obligations. It would also strengthen India's rule of law and build greater trust in public institutions.